you need to learn how to keep bees. Now, many beekeeping associations do beekeeping courses, and the local one in, around here has always done a very good course, but I think most associations have woken up to the fact that they need to be able to encourage beekeepers by running courses. So that's a very good place to start from. But then you would need, oh, certainly two, perhaps three years, just to get some experience of some of the things that go on and just to improve your experience. Because it's a bit like being a vet, you know, the bees can't talk to you. So you, you can see what they're doing. And you can try and work out what it is they're actually up to. And uh, that can be quite hard. Quite actively involved with the local beekeepers association. In fact, was the treasurer. They rounded me up as the treasurer almost before I joined. Um, but then I stopped being treasurer and managed the beekeeping supplies business for them for quite a few years. And for some of those years, I was also the chairman of the association. But that's like all amateur associations. You know, the chairman just gets left with all the insoluble problems. <laughs> I had a whole range of shops mainly in and around Harrogate, because we had a rather nice Harrogate and district label. You were allowed to label your honey with the district it comes from. So we took advantage of that. So we, you, some people might have seen it. It's got a little uh, graphic of the um, pump room on the jars. And we had quite a nice theme of labels. And we sold, well, I think, over the years we've sold 10 tonnes. I think our biggest year was something like about a tonne and a half. So it's quite a lot of, uh, quite a lot of lifting. The number of beekeepers who make a full-time living from beekeeping is probably a handful. I wouldn't mind betting it was less than 30. Certainly when the bee farmers did a survey, this is a bit of a complicated statistic, they discovered something like, oh, three quarters of their members got less than a quarter of their income from keeping bees. So if you are going to keep bees, you can make a living out of it. But you need to have, oh, three to four, five hundred hives to really make a commercial go out of it. And then you discover that there are sort of seven days a week and there's 17 working hours a day in the summer. And it becomes a real hard, hard way to make a living.